we have seen in boundary layer theory there is some displacement thickness that displacement thickness occurs due to the introduction of a thin solid surface or a thin plate in a freely flowing fluid now due to this there will be some reduction in the mass flow rates as there is reduction in mass flow rate there will be some reduction in the momentum so let us consider the momentum thickness so let us study what is momentum thickness it is denoted by theta now for that we should have a solid surface and there should be a free stream velocity which is flowing with u infinity or u so due to this there will be a formation of boundary layer let us take a section over here this section will have some x coordinate from this point this point is called as the leading edge and over here it will have some velocity gradient that is du by dy so along this velocity gradient at a distance y let us consider a thickness dy or elemental strip over here as dy now over here what is actually a momentum thickness now when there is introduction of this solid surface there will be a formation of boundary layer due to this formation of boundary layer there is reduction in the momentum because initially the fluid was flowing with a velocity u u over here but due to the introduction of this there will be some amount of some amount of reduction in the momentum or reduction in the mass flow rate that reduction in the mass flow rate which is pushed by a distance theta by a distance delta which we have seen in the previous derivation is called as displacement thickness whereas over here there is some loss in momentum and it is pushed this entire layer is pushed due to the loss in momentum by a distance theta that is called as displaced that is called as momentum thickness so over here let us calculate what is momentum thickness we always consider this part that is the thickness of this entire part as equals to b so the mass flow rate through this small distance dy small distance dy will be perpendicular will be perpendicular and that will be given as this is a dy and this is b so that will be given as u so let the velocity u be at a distance of y from the solid surface so now the momentum can be given as let us consider momentum momentum for elemental area will be given as mass into velocity so the mass flow rate over here through this part is given as a rho into u into b into dy and the velocity at this entire part is again u so that is rho u b into dy which we have seen in the previous derivation similarly if there is there was no elemental strip rather there was no plate over here if there wasn't any plate then the mass then the momentum momentum without without any plate is a given as again mass into velocity mass into velocity so this is a rho u b into dy if there was no plate then this would have a velocity which is equals to the free stream velocity so we have 
a momentum without the plate and we have a momentum with the plate so the loss in momentum will be the final momentum rather the greater momentum minus the small smaller momentum since over here the velocity u infinity or u is greater we will consider this part that is the this minus its initial part so the loss in momentum loss in momentum will be given as rho u v into dy into u minus rho u v into dy into small u so what do we get over here rho v rho v u into dy capital u minus small u that is the free stream velocity minus the velocity at a distance of dy now to calculate the total loss in momentum we have to integrate this so the total loss in momentum over the entire boundary layer is integral 0 to delta rho v u dy capital u minus small u so we have got this entire part that is capital u minus small u so that is total loss in momentum this total loss in momentum is compensated by the momentum thickness so total loss in momentum will be equals to the momentum due to the momentum momentum thickness so the momentum due to the momentum thickness will be given as a rho into the velocity will be equals to capital u over there rho u into b into the value of theta so this will constitute the mass into velocity that will be the thickness okay so this is mass into velocity so the mass is rho into u that is rho into u b into theta will constitute the area so this can be written as rho a v into v so rho is this part area is this part and velocity is u so this will constitute this entire part so now we have to just equate these two so integral 0 to delta integral 0 to delta rho b into u into dy small u capital minus capital u minus small u will be equals to rho into u b into theta into capital u so what do we get over here is one value of to avoid confusion uh, we don't have to cancel this we'll write this as u infinity this part also as u infinity and this part as small u so these are all terms this is also u infinity so over here the terms which will be cancelled that will be rho rho b and b and what we will get over here the momentum thickness as equals to theta will be equals to integral 0 to delta that is small u into u infinity minus small u into u infinity into u infinity so this will give us u infinity square so this theta will be equals to integral 0 to delta 0 to delta let us put this inside the brackets so what do we get over here is that is u in u infinity into u upon u infinity square minus u square upon u infinity square so what do we get over here this as theta is equals to integral 0 to delta 
that is let us write down the equation again upon u infinity square minus u square upon u infinity square so on arranging the terms you can get this equation as theta is equals to integral 0 to delta we can cancel these terms or we can just write this down as so on arranging this we can arrange this as u upon u infinity into 1 minus u upon u infinity now this can be arranged you can take over here u upon u infinity common from these two terms so we'll get this entire term so this is called as the displacement uh, this is called as the momentum thickness a momentum thickness is due to the reduction in the momentum by introducing a plate for in a fluid which is flowing with some velocity u infinity i hope you have understood first what is momentum thickness and derivation of momentum thickness for a boundary layer concept thank you